Hi, welcome back to my channel. Huh? Yes, you're right. Our guest for today is one of our favorite characters in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Good. We'll talk about him later. First, I would like to congratulate and shout out to Shaira Bitoon and Cyrus Morelia for getting a perfect score in the seat work of our last lesson. Please complete watching our video up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just like what I did with Shira and Zyrus. Just comment the score that you get in the comment box down below. Well, in our previous lesson, we learned about the different types of compound words. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Now, let's talk about our guest Groot. What can you say about him? Yes, I agree. His baby form is cute, endearing, adorable compared to his adult form which is unattractive and unappealing to the eyes of some other people. If you think that his baby form is weak and puny, I'll beg to disagree. His baby form is still strong and powerful, though his adult form looks more muscular and brawny. The words cute, endearing, and adorable that we use in describing Groot all have the same meaning. On the other hand, the words unattractive and unappealing are the opposite of the word cute. A word that means nearly the same as another word is called a synonym, while a word that means nearly the opposite of another word is called an antonym. Weak and puny are synonym to each other. Same with the words strong and powerful. Thus, weak and puny are antonyms to the words strong and powerful. Synonyms provide variety in our speech or writing. It is important to be exposed in various sets of synonyms to learn to avoid repetition. Here are some examples. Afraid, scared, frightened. Gloomy, sad, and happy. Quick, fast, swift. Automobile, car, vehicle. Happy, glad, joyful, cheerful. Quiet, calm. Big, large, huge. Hide, cover. Rest, relax. Blank, empty, hollow. House, home. Rock, stone. Ill, sick, unwell. Bunny, rabbit, hair. Idea, thought. Rug, carpet, mat. Cap, hat. Jug, run. Sack, bag, backpack. Center, middle, inside. Listen, hear. Sniff, smell, inhale. Couch, Sofa, strange, odd, weird, evil, bad, wicked, little, small, tiny, tall, high, big, famous, well-known, look, see, glance, stare, true, right, correct, father, dad, daddy, mad, angry, furious, under, below, beneath, funny, silly, Playful, crazy, mother, mom, mommy, woman, lady, female, garbage, trash, junk, waste, neat, tidy, clean, yell, 
shout, scream. Antonyms can be used to show contrast between two things or emphasize a point. It can also be used to explain exactly how you feel and here are some examples. Add, subtract, happy, sad, raise, lower, above, below, hard, soft, right, wrong, after, before, heavy, light, rise, sink, awake, asleep, high, low, rough, smooth, bad, good, in, out, same, different, better, worse, last, first, sell, buy, big, little, laugh, cry, short, long, birth, death, learn, teach, sour, sweet, boy, girl, less, more, start, stop, clean, dirty, lie, truth, stay, live, close, open, long, short, stop, go, cold, hot, loose, tight, strong, weak, and begin, lost, found, teacher, student, dark, light, love, hate, tidy, messy, day, night, north, south, true, false, even, odd, on, off, ugly, beautiful, fail, pass, over, under, up, down, false, through, play, work, white, black, float, sink, polite, rude, wild, tame, east, west, poor, rich, win, loose, fat, skinny, present, absent, well, sick, hungry, full, top, bottom, wet, dry, gentle, rough, quick, slow, young, old. You can use synonyms to vary words when you are writing. Example, instead of always using the word big, you can use more descriptive language like huge, gigantic, enormous. Observe here in our two sentences for you to better understand. So the first sentence, the bear that we saw in the woods was big. And the second one, the bear that we saw in the woods was enormous. The second sentence is more descriptive and gives us a better idea of how big the bear was. But please take note of this. It is important to realize that even though words have similar meanings, they are not always interchangeable. This means that you cannot always change a word with another just because meanings are similar. Here are some examples for better understanding. Observe the difference, okay? So, first one. Jennifer was hungry. Or, Jennifer was famished. Hungry and famished have similar meanings. But if Jennifer is famished, she is very hungry. If you are trying to communicate how hungry she is, famished is a better word. Second one. Mark had a boo-boo, or Mark had an injury. Boo-boo is a common slang word for an injury, but even though these two words mean similar things, you would not want to use boo-boo in formal speech or writing. Again, synonyms can help you vary your words when you are writing, but they can also help you to be more specific about what you want to say. And using a synonym that is more formal can help you when you are writing. Remember, synonyms are words that have the same meaning, while antonyms are words that have the opposite meaning. It is good to enrich your vocabulary of synonyms and antonyms. Yes, knowing synonyms will help you in speech and writing, but you should also take note that when it comes to writing, using formal synonyms 
would be better. Now, let's have an activity. I'm going to read the question to you, then choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. The Grand Mountains are beautiful. Which of the following is synonym of the word beautiful? A. Attractive B. Elegant C. Marvelous D. Radiant If your answer is A. Attractive, then you are correct! Two, how graceful are her stately planes? Which of the following is a synonym of the word graceful? A. Delicate B. Elegant C. Refined Or letter D. Willowy If your answer is B. Elegant, then you are correct! Three, how sweet and modest are her daughters who harvest the golden grain? Which of the following is a synonym of the word sweet? A. Darling B. Fragrant C. Harmonious Or letter D. Pure If your answer is letter B. Fragrant, then you are correct. Four, how graceful are her towering emerald trees? Which of the following is the antonym of the word towering? A. Brief, B. Litter, C. Low, or letter D. Twin. If your answer is letter C, low, then you are correct! 5. How I love this dear Philippines, home on this troubled earth! Which of the following is the antonym of the word troubled? A. Dignified B. Gracious C. Peaceful Or letter D. Restful. If your answer is letter C, peaceful, then you are correct. Okay, now for me to see if you really learned from our today's lesson, I want you to have a pen and paper with you because we're going to have a seat work. I'll give you a moment to prepare yourself. So for your seat work, you're going to write the letter that have similar meaning or opposite meaning of the underlined word. Read the sentence carefully to assess what's needed. I'll give you for about uh, 2 to 3 minutes to do this. If the time is not enough for you, then you can pause the video, okay?
Okay, time's up. So now let's check our work. And here is the answer key for our seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that through this video, you've enriched your vocabulary about synonyms and antonyms. I also hope that you'll never forget my reminder about using formal synonyms in writing. Please comment down below the score that you've got in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. And again, to help me be encouraged in making videos like this, Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!